Ashley Weston. I'm a celebrity menswear stylist. So today I am joined by my fiance, Dorian. Hello. The reason why I wanted Dorian actually to be in today's video is because he's probably one of the best conversationalists that I know. So that's why I wanted him to just come on the channel and really help us all out with today's topic. Mm, thank you, very high praise, I'll take it. <laughs> I've definitely struggled with being able to get into conversations with people. I can always maintain them, but I've always had trouble just, and I think it's because I'm shy, but I've always had difficulty getting into a conversation with someone. And, and and getting out of them. And getting, yes, and getting out of them. But Dorian has been really helpful with getting me better at being a better conversationalist. So let's get into the best conversation starters. Number seven is, do you know where the restroom, bar, food area is? The hardest thing in a conversation is to start it. That is it, like that. that's the most difficult thing. Once you're in it, it's relatively simple. So you always wanna add, ask someone a question that's kind of disarming or they can easily answer for you, or they can even just say, I don't know. So that is like the quickest, easiest thing to do. And it doesn't matter on the venue, whether it's like a big event or a conference or even like a house party. They don't even remember that you needed to know where the restroom or bar is. They don't even know the reason anyway. So it's not like you have to immediately leave. I think a lot of people would say, well, okay, well, they told me, but now I have to leave. No, 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 you just keep the, con now you're in the conversation. That's the beauty of now it. Now go with it. Yeah, go with it. <laughs> Number six is going up to someone and saying, hey, so where are you from exactly? Or are you from around here? That's like a good one because especially if someone doesn't look like they're part of a crew or they're kind of, I use that one a lot on like, um, if people are kind of off by themselves or like a little small group, it's usually more of a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. It's hard to walk up to a group and then say that and people are like, well, who are you talking where, to exactly? Where are you all from? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one if it's like an individual person and you're just trying to make conversation and you've kind of zoned in on them. That's a great one to start out with. It's really easy to answer. Again, you're just looking to start a conversation. You don't want to like hit them with a heavy question. It's very weird. Number five is actually something that Dorian has taught me and has worked very well. And that is if someone is holding a plate of food or a drink, you just go up to them like, oh, hey, that looks really good. What is that? Where'd you get that from? It's like a super easy one. It's like, again, they can answer it very simply. It's not offensive in any way. And then you have the conversation of, oh, is it good? Like, oh, what do you like to drink normally? Or, or do you eat that kind of food normally? Or, or And then you go into, the beauty is, all of these conversation starters, you can use all the other ones to keep the conversation going. Oh, so where are you from exactly? Oh, hey, actually, do you know where the restroom is or whatever? You know, you could use, you can combine them all together. Now you're in a pretty decent conversation. So again, that's just a great opening line because someone's got something in their hand, it's easy to talk about. Number four on the list is very similar to number five. And that is when you go up to someone and you say, hey, I really like your shirt. Where'd you get that from? And my answer is, Ashley got it for me. <laughs> <laughs> People love compliments. It instantly lets their guard down. So I always try to, if especially if I just can't think of anything, I'll just compliment them on something that they're wearing and ask them where did they get it or you know something like that. Number three is, so what was the best part of your day? I included this one because yeah. I was asked this question maybe like 10, 15 years ago and it stuck with me ever since. It was like such a nice change. I, I was, a, I was an entertainment executive for a long time, so I was at meetings, meeting new people all the time. And out of all the years I was doing all that, like interfacing with a lot of strangers and new people, one person asked me that question and it stuck with me ever since. And it was such a great question. It was like, made me feel good that someone would ask that question. I was like, oh, this one's amazing. Bit of a gamble, depending on the group, <laughs> obviously. Um, but I would say that that is one that will kind of put someone back on their heels just a little bit. So if you're not really that comfortable with that kind of, it's a bit of a bold question to start with, but I will tell you, I've remembered that question ever since that day. And it, I, I felt like it was a really, really good one. I've used it on other people and they've said the same thing, like, that's like a great question. Yep. And then they, you- People you, will remember you by that. Definitely, definitely. Number two is something that I use a lot and I know Dorian does as well. And that is, so what brought you here tonight or today, et cetera? So this is great if you're at a bar or some kind of event that's not hosted by someone specifically, but it's a really easy way to get into a conversation. Yeah, so someone has a reason for going everywhere. So they're not, just, like even the, even if they don't have a reason, like, I don't know, I just came with my friend. Oh, well, who's your friend? Like yeah. you're, you're already immediately into a conversation again. So it's a really, really great one. I, I, that, that's my go-to for it's, sure. Because especially because it's not a yes or no, and it's not a quick answer usually. Yeah. So their, their answer, you, they're probably giving a lot of good information that you can kind of hook onto and then form your next questions. So the number one conversation starter that you should use, and it's kind of similar actually to number two, and that is going up to someone and saying, hi, so how do you know so-and-so? Which means the so-and-so is the host of the event. You 
for the longest time couldn't wrap your head around this question. But I'm like, <laughs> if you're invited somewhere by the host, yeah. the people at the same place are probably also invited by the host. So you now you have a common ground already. So it's not like this room's like, well, what the hell? Who are you? Like, I why know, would you even I ask know. me that question? You always found it so weird. And yeah. I'm like, just try it when now you're at a party. Now I use it all the time. If we're at a party hosted by someone specific, I'm always, I will go up to people now and I have no qualms. Yeah. I'm like, hey, so how do you know Charlie? It's great. This is so easy now. And then I get to learn a lot of cool information that maybe my host wouldn't have told me about that person. Yeah, you already have common ground to stand on and discuss, so use it. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and thank you so much, Dorian, for being here. You're welcome, it's my pleasure. And sharing your wisdom. Like I said at the top, Dorian is incredible at getting into and then maintaining conversations, so these are gonna be really helpful. They've helped me. So I know if they've helped me, they're definitely gonna help you. Hope you all enjoy. And I was never a great conversationalist growing up. I had to learn the hard way when I was an entertainment executive. I just got thrown into all these random situations. So these, these are the things that I've learned over the years. I'm telling you, they work and I am not an- Tried and true. Yeah, I am not like an outgoing sort of guy. I can do it if I need to, but that is not my default. So trust it, use them, love them. All right, we need to get out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. This video is done. See you in the next one, bye. bye.